Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ. I want to talk to you a bit more about these Bofang handhelds, UV5R. First of all, what I've done is I've bought one of these. It's a, a Nano VNA. Can you see that? I'm going to do a separate video on this. Aerial analyzer, amongst many other things. Rather good. Uh, what I've done is taken the aerial off here right and stuck it on there <laughs> now listen before we start none of my videos are particularly technical for a very good reason now you're thinking why no, I, I know what you're thinking you're right because I'm not particularly technical this is basic stuff you know my videos are there out of interest for people and to help people help beginners you might be thinking, I don't know, what's all this about? Well, perhaps I can help you. Perhaps I can enlighten you and enlighten myself at the same time. Right, so what I've done is I've put this aerial on the Nano VNA and on 136 megs it's resonant and on 465 megs it's resonant. Any other frequency, uh, the SWR is all over the place, really high. So that's just out of interest, I'm telling you that. Now, someone did say to me, um, well, is that 50 ohm there? Is this 50 ohms? Well, this, the input impedance of this aerial, obviously will change depending on the frequency you're on. So all this handheld business is a bit of a compromise, isn't it? Uh, you're not going to get one-to-one -one SWR on that aerial from sort of 136 up to 500 and whatever megs. It's just not possible, is it? You'd have to have a separate aerial for each uh, each small band segments all the way up. Okay, so 136 and 465, that's resonant. On my TYT radio, more expensive radio, this aerial is resonant on 143 megs, so it's not bad for two meters, and 412 megs. And again, in between, if you want the marine band or PMR446, well, the SWR is all over the place. But as, as someone else pointed out, I mean, if you're holding it here or here, if your hand's near the air, it's all going to change anyway. So that's all that's all sort of by the by, really. But just out of interest, I thought I'd see where the aerial resonated on that one. Now, again, out of interest, I thought I'd see what the power is like out of this, of various frequencies. Now, obviously, taking that off, I connected that to my Marconi power meter, which has uh, got a 50, 50 ohm load in it, all right? So it was always into a 50 ohm load. Uh, what the power is going to be into this will be different because, as I said, the, this won't be 50 ohms all the time. Depends what frequency you're on. But again, out of interest, I stuck that into the power meter. And here are the results. OK, got the bow fan connected to the power meter. So if I transmit, this is a 446. So on the top scale, we're going to make three watts. Yes, just about three watts on the middle of the PMR446 band. This is 145 megs. That's our local repeater input frequency. Not quite four watts on that one. This is our local 70 centimetres repeater. Three watts. Yeah, three watts on that. That's transmitting on 438575. Three watts there. Now, just out of interest, this is 470 megs. Uh, what's that? Two and a half watts. This is the marine band, channel 16 which is, what's that, uh, two, three and a quarter watts, isn't it? About three and a quarter watts, channel 16 marine. This is 136 megs. Oh, look, just over four watts, 136 megs. This is 500 megs, so uh, just over two and a half watts. That was not at all interesting, you're thinking, aren't you? No, you're not. Anyway, some more useless information. Uh, the Bofang on 446 was 3 watts. 
the TYT on 446, 3 watts, that's the same. The Bofang on 70 SEMS on the repeater was 3 watts. On the TYT, 2.5 watts. On 2 metres, Bofang was almost 4. On the TYT, 3. Channel 16 Marine Bofang, 3.25. 3.5 so there's not a lot in it between the two bear in mind that was 18 pounds that was 90 pounds okay they're both nice radios so the, the main difference is, as you obviously know this has got a wide front end if you've got any out of band local rf going on it'll swamp the front end of this well there is no front end whereas this is better this isn't perfect uh you know this I've never owned, what is it, Kenwood, Icom, Yesu, handhelds. Apparently they are a lot better. Well, they should be. They're a hundred times the price of these, so they should be a lot better. But uh, there we are, just out of interest, the power out of these. What might be interesting at some stage would be to set that sort of there and have, I don't know, have perhaps a, an RF sniffer near it and then fire it up on different frequencies to see what's coming out of the aerial. I don't know. Is there any point? Not really. I was talking to a friend of mine on the radio yesterday, young Nick. Hello, Nick, if you're watching. And we were wondering whether you could change this somehow. I mean, for example, I know people that use these purely on 446. That's all they use them for. I wonder whether you could somehow cut that. <laughs> I must dissect one of these one day and see exactly what's in there. But I wonder whether you could cut a bit off or add a bit on. Nick suggested perhaps coil of wire or something around just to see what it does. But of course we're back to the now the technical out there among you will all you'll be answering me. You'll be commenting on the video saying, Oh no, 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 you should do this, you should do that. I know all that. Well I don't know all that, but I know you're gonna tell me all that. Okay, so the technical out there among you if the impedance of that, if we could get the impedance of that, or rather the resonance in the middle of the 446, you know, the PMR band, that's got to be good, hasn't it? I don't know, I'm waffling now. Anyway, there we are, just all out of interest, as I said. What I'm going to do is make another video about this. So look, I'm going to do that next. Look out for that one, the Nano VNA H4 Handheld Vector Network Analyzer really really good excellent bit of kit i'm not going to go in now different reason this time well no, both same reason i'm not going to go into the technical side of this because some real technical bods excellent bods have made a lot of videos on youtube and they've really gone into it the mathematics and everything which i don't understand i'm not going to pretend to but what i'm going to do with this is just show you a few tests that i've made with it I'm not even going to tell you how to use it because, as I say, there are videos everywhere. But just a few interesting things I've done with it, uh, which uh, hopefully you'll find useful. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.